what is up guys if you're looking for the best way to farm the current asura events here on artery gear make sure to stay tuned as i'll be showing you all how to do so while also evolving units to six star here with just the three star units here in grace yo what's up guys ad here back with another artery gear video here on the channel like i just mentioned in the intro of this video we'll be showing you all how to farm the current asura events here with the amazing three star units here in grace now a huge thank you to Tamias for sharing this method on his youtube channel i'll make sure to have it linked in the description box below if you guys would like to check out his guide but we'll be diving into it here in today's video on my channel as i would love to share with all of you here as well so this is a very simple method and i do label it myself as the grace method and tons of others probably do call it this as well but it's pretty simple as you do want to raise this amazing three star unit in grace now she is probably one of the best three star pve clearers here as she does have a ton of aoe damage in her kits and she is very easy to raise as of course she is a three star unit here so chances are if you have happened to have summon here on artery gear you might have a copy of grace lying around but if you don't manage to have one just yet she'll turn up soon in your summons as of course she is a three star unit but here she is nonetheless on the screen right now let's check out my grace and we'll dive into what you do need to invest into grace here so she can sustain the later levels of the current asura event so we do have grace here on screen my current grace is at five star status here now some graces are actually at six star and farming the last stage of the event very well but i only happen to have raised my grace to five star at this current time we also do have her technology here in which I raised it to phase five here, which is pretty good as of course, phase six of the technology for Grace is locked behind AG level requirements 60 here. So I would say either phase four or five here is totally fine for your Grace here. As of course, you will also need some decent gear on her as you do have the five star gear that is easily obtainable from the rookie missions here. So you will have the attack set here the five star piece as well as the four star critical set here in which you can obtain from the rookie missions if you guys aren't exactly sure where to obtain these of course on your home screen we do have the rookie training icon here on the top left hand side of your artery gear screen and you will be able to obtain these sets here from stages three and stage four as you could see here we do have the rewards on stage three of the complete stage five of the data collection and you will be handed the attack set here as well as mission five here on stage three handing you the four star rarity of the crit set which is totally enough for your grace so after obtaining your new gear from the rookie missions you'll want to apply these sets onto grace and of course upgrade them significantly here you can also obtain the higher rarity of gear on the later stages of the rookie missions but if you guys would like to just start farming the event already as we do have 10 days remaining currently at the time of uploading this video here you'll probably want to get going on the asura event already so i did upgrade the weapon here you will want to focus the weapon as well as the armor piece here for the hp and be sure to focus the crit set here in which you will want to raise the critical percentage here of the level four sites here as well as the level four overclocking chip for your grace here so most importantly you'll definitely want to focus on your weapon here as well as the metal power cabin here to increase her hp so more sustainability there and the crit set overall to apply more damage to your grace next up here of course as i mentioned earlier on you'll want to at least raise your grace to the five star status i would say as my current grace does manage to handle the ex stage two with three fathers and could probably handle ex3 alongside morris and leveling two fathers so it just depends on your current progression in artery gear so far as for the skills here of your grace you'll want to max the active skill here towards the far right of her skill set as you'll want to increase the damage here as well as upon killing a target it does reset this skill's cooldown so make sure to max the active skill here for grace as soon as possible as well as the passive skill here which does help her gain a 50 percent critical chance here and a critical resistance here at max status so since grace is a rare tier character she is very easy to max out 
and chances are if you have summoned a bit you will have dupes for your grace as well so if you haven't already done so make sure to apply your dupes to your grace now next up here everyone of course head into the event here the current asura event and you'll want to select the stage here based on your current grace's status if you do happen to have her at five star status with the five star and four star crit set I would recommend to farm the EX2 stage here. And if you do happen to have more sustainability onto your grace, then definitely farm the EX3 stage here. But I'll be heading into EX2 as this is what I could handle for now. And you'll want to surround your grace here with three fodder units here as you'll want to level these units up so you can use them as evolution fodder material to raise more of the alphos into five star in which will help you evolve units like grace into six star status so as you could see we do have the basic defender here the killer walker the basic walker here which are units that do drop upon completing stages so you can fodder these units here and of course use them as the level up fodder you'll want to have grace here in the third slot so she is in the back row here as well as make sure to surround grace with the current air supports of the units Rayla here as she does provide all allies and attack and crit buff here which will help a ton in assisting grace to push the stage as much as possible and then you'll want to click the ai combat here push this all the way up to 30 times total make sure to check the challenge again if fail as of course if you do fail it will refund your stamina anyway as well as make sure to check the stops when an ag reaches her max level and the low energy mode here as well. You can use the use backup energy or you can use crystals if you would like to do so. And if you would like to farm offline, make sure to tick the offline battle here on the top right hand of this screen. So then you'll begin to battle as of course we'll test it out here with the one times as I do have some units here level two, level 30 already. And then I'll show you guys how to evolve those units and father them. Now, once you do head into a stage here, make sure to head to the right-hand side of your screen and select the air supports here of the unit's Rayla. So she will provide supports to your grace. And then you're set here and you will be able to farm the stage very easily here as long as you do have the gear sets applied to grace. And of course, do have her leveled up decently here. Like I said, five star status does seem to be pretty good here for your grace and overall it was a pretty easy process as you guys could see here grace didn't struggle at all and we did manage to level up some of the three star fodder units here all right next up here everyone i'll show you guys how to evolve these fodder units if you guys haven't yet already done so we do have here on the top of your ag collection screen the quick star up and you can star up the max level three star units here with the other fodders you have obtained while farming so they will turn into a level 34 star unit and you'll want to do so as you could see here we do now have a level 34 star unit and you could take four of these fodders here and turn one of the four star purple max level alphos into a five star level 40 and you'll want to do this up to five times so you can evolve a unit into a six star status and last but not least if you guys were wondering where's the best stage to farm fodder units here it would be in the event on 3-10 you will have the highest chance of receiving the fodder units as well as three star alphors so if you guys are lacking the three star alphor material as well as three star bots you'll definitely want to farm 3-10 here so that'll pretty much do it for today's rd year video here on the channel make sure to let me know in the comment section below if this method was useful to you at all and of course if you do happen to have any other tips here for the asura event make sure to leave them in the comment section below but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video and of course if you guys haven't yet done so already make sure to subscribe here to the channel if you are interested in more arty gear content just like this video here today but with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next arty gear video as always thank you all so much for watching